Want to know why? <laughs> Ask how. Howard the Humongous. A few days ago, Scott Pruitt was forced to resign his position as head of the Environmental Protection Agency. He went down in a welter of scandals. We'll get to those scandals in a minute, but here's the real deal. Pay attention. This is the real core of what's going on. The real problem with Scott Pruitt is what air pollution does to your lungs and mine. When I first came to New York City in 1964 from Buffalo, New York to go to New York University, Con Edison, New York City's power provider, had three giant smokestacks just half a mile from the college campus. I wore white pants and a white shirt, but by noon those newly laundered white clothes had horizontal streaks of black. Coal dust accumulated on the creases of my pants and shirt. I had to stop wearing white. The same coal dust that striped my shirt and pants was entering my lungs and the lungs of 8 million other New Yorkers. L.A. was just as polluted. 2.5 million Los Angeleans lived under a dome of brown smog, a smog that destroyed their lungs. Once the partic particulates, tiny particles, of polluted air enter your lungs, especially coal dust, they never leave. They just build up until they kill you. They give you lung cancer, pneumonia, bronchitis, and emphysema. My dad and my uncle both died of lung cancer. When Richard Nixon established the Environmental Protection Agency on December 2nd, 1970, things changed. Slowly the air cleared. Today you can wear white in New York City or in LA and your lungs remain healthy. Scott Pruitt and his boss Donald Trump want to change all of that. Pruitt felt that the EPA was there to protect exhaust emitting corporations, not your lungs and mine. Pruitt apparently met with oil barons, lobbyists, and industry executives. Then he tried to erase the records of those meetings in the public logs of his activities. This breaks the law. It breaks the Federal Records Act. It's a felony. Pruitt's goal was to remove what Mitch McConnell calls job-killing regulations. Mitch McConnell was lying every time he uttered that phrase. In fact, under those regulations, America has had the longest run of job creation in this country's history. But the Pruitt story gets worse. Pruitt's mandate from Trump was to bring back the coal industry, the industry whose soot, more than any other, can kill you. It's true that Scott Pruitt was forced to resign because he violated the American sense of propriety. He spent $3 million on 24-7 security, a security detail. He had the government trade in the normal EPA car for an armored car. He had a soundproof booth built in his office, apparently, so he could hide his meetings with energy industry executives and lobbyists. That soundproof booth may also have been illegal. What's more, Scott Pruitt forced his staffers to pay for his government travel with their own personal credit cards. It is not clear whether those staffers ever got their money back, whether they were ever reimbursed. Pruitt had his assistants buy him $3,000 worth of pants and shirts. Again, it's not clear whether his clothing binge was at your expense and mine. Taxpayer money. Pruitt rented a room in Washington, you know this, at a ridiculously low rate from, guess what, an energy lobbyist, somebody who wanted an in to him. He represented the energy corporations, not 
you and me. And brace yourself for an even greater assault. Pruitt's temporary replacement is Andrew Wheeler, a former coal lobbyist, a man who represented the most air-polluting industry in the world. Think of Beijing, where people can barely breathe. That's coal. That's what coal does to what you breathe and take into your lungs. So the point is, you have to keep your eyes on the prize. Don't let scandal distract you. Whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, the Trump EPA policy is a direct assault on your lungs and mine, on your life and mine, with or without Scott Pruitt. This is Howard the Humongous, speaking to you from the future. It's your job and my job to make. Or, <laughs> well, I don't know why, ask how. And now for that sleazy, slimy, ridiculous, insidious, ah, slothful little off button.